and just go B. <laughs> So uh, anyway, um, uh, I'm, I always endeavor to give the uh, least serious talk at any conference or meeting I attend. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, has this ever happened to you? Um, you're, uh, you're hanging out in your uh, tower of uh, magic and doom and uh, working on some really great evil. Um, and uh, things are going really well and uh, an idiot uh, you check Facebook, so, and, you know, someone you know from high school or whatever is uh, posting their beautiful vacation photographs and, you know, they went to New Zealand, you know, which looks like this, and um, uh, I'm told, um, and uh, uh, you just get really, it just makes you really furious and, and really upset because, that's how people work. Uh, and so uh, I decided that, all right, New Zealand has got to go. So, uh, I, mean, <laughs> I, I mean, look, I, of, of course. <laughs> it's just, it's got to go. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's just got to you know, some hobbits or sheep or whatever. So, uh, you know, you should be able to just summon an undead horde and let it loose. It's uh, an embarrassingly parallel apocalypse. Off they go. Uh, but as you're spawning all of the zombies that are going to go destroy New Zealand and uh, um, spare you of uh, people's beautiful vacation photographs forever, uh, you notice your summoning, your, your summoning circle is running really slow. Uh, and so you check the performance statistics on, uh, on the head node for your, your, your summoning grid. Uh, and, well, uh, next slide. Um, well, this happens. <laughs> uh, this is this is actually uh, NERSC's um, uh, Jupiter uh, Jupiter Hub instance a couple of days ago. <laughs> uh, usually, it's available, but this does happen. This is folks in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so. Means this means you've, you, you've got it. You have to you have to talk to Igor, um, and uh, uh, great. Uh, he's very helpful. Every tower uh, needs an Igor. Um, Igor. Igor also. <laughs> so, uh, just one problem. Uh, the difficulty with interacting with Igor or Igor uh, is you spend a lot of time on Stack Overflow, so. <laughs> Uh, you know, just it goes on. There's three of these. So you, so you struggle <laughs> figuring just how to communicate with it, with Igor, and how to how to get your 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 job dispatched from the one summoning circle to the 2,388 summoning circles with 32 altars each that you have available in this great power that you've got. So, uh, and if you don't tell. Well, Igor does things in a very specific and particular way, uh, and if you don't talk to him the way he wants to be spoken to, um, well, he'll just get you the wrong brain or just, you know, bad things happen. This is why dark, dark wizards are always so gloomy. So, uh, anyway, um, why are we doing this? Uh, so, uh, actually what, I, what I really want to talk to you about is uh, uh, my problems, uh, because they're so important. Um, so. Uh, Research code is messy and disgusting, um, and it is because uh, <laughs> scientists are messy, disgusting people. <laughs> uh, uh, or at least I am, anyway. When, when it comes to code, like, I, I look at you know workspaces like this, and I just want to roll around in it. Like, this is this is my this is my life, right? Um, and uh, UX UI is. Um, Oh, th this one? Oh. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, so, uh, user experience is an important part of um, any interactive loop, right? So, if you if you want people to be able to like interact with your program or their program if they're running it on your infrastructure. Um, 
uh, friction when it comes to doing basic things like taking something and making it parallel, which is not actually basic, uh, is very hard uh, and can significantly damage the usefulness of the resource for the intended application, which is serving research. Uh, and also, uh, parallel code when you, or parallel applications when you want to design them from some sort of arbitrary problem space, uh, there's no generalized solution to, for writing parallel algorithms. Um, everything is going to have to be at least somewhat specific to what you're doing, and if your research code looks like that workbench, figuring out how to retool it after you've already gotten most of the way into the problem, and yeah, it's, it's, it's a nightmare. Um, so, uh, so I wrote this little, uh, uh, I wrote this little uh, Jupyter extension uh, called Summon Undead. Um, uh, this is an intentionally silly uh, design. Um, uh, part of the reason why I'm here is I would like to uh, solicit some feedback so I can make something that's actually useful. Um, uh, the way that this works is you make a little uh, array of uh, uh, dictionaries that each contain variables that you would like to uh, you would like to inject into a code cell. Um, and the code cells look like this. Um, so you decorate it with the uh, cell magic uh, with some incantations that I'll explain in a second. And the, um, the uh, variables that are defined in those dictionaries will get injected into the same space when the cell will run. Um, and so this job name. How many CPUs you want, you pass in your vector of run arguments, you ask for the output, the names of the outputs you want. Um, let's go back one more. Um, and basically, this is specifying which of the variables that you set in the cell at some point that it's executing do you want to collect later. Uh, and then you tell it what mode you want to execute. In this case, this is called serial, serial, so I very painstakingly recreated a low performance for loop here. Um, so um, so the uh, reason for naming it is it tells Slurm what to call your process so that the administrators can tell you what, you know, they can, they can tell you what you're being yelled at for. Um, and uh, the other thing that the name does is it's, uh, it's used for the output that you asked to, to collect back the namespace for your network. Um, so, uh, so I have nodes. The next one is local parallel. She uses the, um, the, the process function for the first process module to, uh, um, uh, to keep the run phrases correct. Right. The one you actually, the mode you're actually probably interested in is the dash dash, dash from Slurm, which dispatches each of the cells to Slurm uh, with a scratch space to save serialized objects. So that's the whole interface. Uh, so why is this useful? Um, well, uh, maybe it isn't, <laughs> uh, but maybe it is. So, um, uh, so I use Jupyter to document my research process mostly. I also like to use it to communicate my research when I can, but for the most part, um, oh, uh, well, my, my advisor as a, as a PhD student and uh, my boss as a postdoc, uh, when I show them Jupyter notebooks, they tend to glaze over, like, why do you have 26 notebooks for this one project? Uh, why are they 5,000 pages long? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, uh, and my research process is total chaos. Um, but I'm not asking for a solution to that. I'm actually very happy with this. Uh, I love the chaos. Um, what I want is something that will reduce the cognitive load of using the resources that are available to me. Uh, so. Uh, the heavy lifting, the particularly computational heavy, heavy lifting, um, should be done on the compute nodes of uh, HPC. Uh, but uh, if you are um, lazy, like me, uh, you will probably just run them wherever you have CPUs available. And if there are enough on the head node or on the Jupyter Hub node, then you'll just run it there, probably, and hope nobody yells at you. Uh, so, one of the things that a wrapper like this can possibly offer um, is a nice way for administrators to encourage users to uh, choose a sensible set of settings for how they how they interact with Slurm and how they run their jobs on on the HPC. 
uh, without having to be, uh, you know, really uh, um, stern with the policy. <laughs> so um, anyway, so like I said, this is a deliberately silly interface. Um, I'm planning to build something better, uh, and uh, um, I would really like how it should actually work, uh, how the interface should look, what it should be named. I don't have to keep it named; it's someone undead. Uh, but uh, please uh, visit the GitHub, open an issue if you have some ideas or suggestions or comments, um, or shout them at me now, or at lunch. <laughs>